Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. I'm Zareen from the channel Zareen Tasneem. And today we are here not to discuss, we are here to practice a very simple thing, which is a really common thing in the world right nowadays. Those are called phrasal verbs. So there is something called phrase and there is something called verb. And when you add those two, then you get phrasal verbs. So today I'm not gonna tell phrasal verbs each and every one by numbering like number one is that, number one is that, and number two is that. I will say it in a passage, in a story, and the story will be related to the time we are going out by now and the time we are facing right now. So today another person is going to attend us in our video and that is yes Zareen the genie so Zareen the genie is today gonna cooperate us and she is on the phone actually she is in the phone lamp so I named this phone the lamp and she is inside that and she is gonna help you to learn the phrasal verbs through the story okay so there are a lot of complications in this world like we are facing right now and there are some few things you need to know before knowing phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are different types like you can express sorrow with them, you can express happiness with them, you can express grief with them or there they may be some kind of like related to treatment, they may be kind of related to music, they may be kind of related to medicine or e-commerce, service, anything. Today our topic is going to be a slight different and a little bit of complexive too but in the passage i'm gonna note the phrasal verbs on different colors so i hope you will be able to understand and let's see whether we have any steps to follow in phrasal verbs so in that case actually our guide is going to help us so hello guide what are our steps today hmm she is saying that at first when we learn phrasal verbs we have to first listen and read the phrasal verbs yeah you can listen to me and then read the phrasal verbs on your own because i will write them down on the screen then what is the step two it is listen and repeat yeah after you listen to me you can pause the video right there and you can repeat after me like i said today is a good day you pause the video and you also say that today is a good day so that would be really nice and what about step three shadow what does shadow mean does this mean this my hand has a shadow no shadow means that you will speak the same time i will speak not after i speak the same time i'm speaking like i am saying that today is a good day you'll say at the same time today is a good day so this is what shadow means so our study guide tells us the steps now we're gonna know from Zareen the genie what is our story today and what can we learn in that story what are the phrasal verbs actually so I'm gonna play Zareen the genie's voice and she's gonna instruct you how to learn phrasal verbs through a story so let's start Welcome everyone Ooh. to the English practice session with Zareen the Genie. So as I said in my video that I was supposed to tell you a story which has phrasal verbs in it. So as I'm a genie, I have to tell you the story's name, a year to remember or forget. And now I have many words to do because I am always in fulfilling wishes. So let's quickly move on to the story. 2020 was an unprecedented year. In my mind, it will always be the year the world ran out of toilet paper. The year when it became acceptable to go to work in our pajama pants. The year we all brushed up on skills and took up new hobbies. Pajama pants? Oh, that's funny. Forget about it. I started baking sourdough with everyone else. But it's also the year that millions of people around the world came down with a mysterious virus. Of course, COVID-19 coronavirus that quickly became a global pandemic. And tragically, more than 2 million people have passed away from it. But did you know that over 60 million people have successfully fought off the virus? Incredible! People have been impacted in different ways and it has certainly highlighted inequality. 
There has been lots of financial uncertainty. People have lost their jobs. Businesses have been impacted. Some have been lucky and had savings to dip into, but other people have gone without essential items at times. On a positive note, we've really seen people step up and help out their local communities where they can. We've rallied around our families and neighbors doing whatever it takes to help them get by. Collaboration between scientists and researchers has led to the development of multiple vaccines which are being rolled out in many countries right now and it seems to be working. Infection rates over the last few months have started to drop off. I hope you're optimistic about the year ahead. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you so much. Okay, so thank you so much Zareen the genie. You are absolutely right and the thing you noted at the end of your discussion was absolutely great and you're completely right. I agree with you. So during this pandemic, did you hear what are the phrasal verbs that Zareen the genie said? Please note that down. And I did I did use different colors on them so that you can understand. So, what are phrasal verbs used for? Generally, phrasal verbs are used for making your sentences more beautiful. Like sometimes you use a phrase in a sentence, you also use a verb in a sentence and when you repeat it, it's too boring and too elongated. But when you do not want to make it boring, you want to make it nicer. You want to make it the best so you can follow the phrasal verbs. These were the phrasal verbs which were kind of related to the pandemic. Yes, there are lots and lots of topics as I said before. It can be of music, economy, dance, treatment, whatever, healthcare, balanced diet. Phrasal verbs can be of any topic. And today, my topic was pandemic and I hope you got it from Zareen the genie. She is always busy in fulfilling wishes and this was one of my wishes because now I have her captured. So she has to follow me. And she asked me that, Master, what is your first wish? So I asked her that, please tell me a story which has phrasal verbs related to the pandemic. So she told you a story. So I hope you guys understood what is meant by phrasal verbs and why are phrasal verbs used. This video was short, but this video means a lot because you could learn something from here and I also could. Yeah, before doing the videos, I always learn then I teach you guys. So I also get the chance to learn and it's a very good time. It's a very good chance for learning. Thank you Zareen the Genie and thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope this video was really helpful. See you in my next video. Bye bye.